Today we're going to take you on a walkthrough tour of the Tory floor plan located here in the Astor Creek Golf and Country Club community in Port St. Lucie, Florida. And throughout the video, we're going to point out a lot of the details of this home. We'll talk about a lot of other details about the community in general. We'll talk about HOA fees, CDD fees, about the clubhouse, all the amenities. Now this home offers three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms with the flex room. It has 2,876 square feet of under air living space with the option to build an upstairs bonus room, which is available on any floor plan here in Astor Creek. Now the base price of this home is $812,990. We will go over all the details about what you can expect to spend in upgrades if you were to buy any home in this community. We'll talk about the lot sizes, lot premiums, and other information once we get inside. And if you're new to my channel, my name is David Rogers. I'm a licensed real estate broker in the area. If you're looking to move to Port St. Lucie, Florida, you're looking to purchase a home between now and next year, I encourage you to call me, text me, shoot me an email anytime. All my contact information will be throughout the video, down in the description below. And remember, it doesn't cost you a penny to hire me as your real estate professional. The builders pay our commissions. You do not save any money by going directly to the builder. And another, another thought is, before you come to Port St. Lucie, Florida, make sure you reach out to me so we can schedule to meet you here at this builder or any of the other builders that you're interested in seeing new construction homes. Without further ado, let's get started on today's walkthrough tour of the Tory floor plan here in the Astor, Astor Creek Golf and Country Club community. The Tory floor plan again is three bedrooms, three and a half bath with a three car garage and a flex room. Base price of this home is $812,990. The starting square footage is 2,876. All the homes here have tile roofs. Again, there's gonna be different elevations, rain gutters around the entire property. And your monthly HOA fees, which range between $225 to $240, is gonna cover your lawn maintenance, pruning, mulching, irrigation, light pruning, and light fertilization. Let's point that out. One of the nice features with this builder being Coulter Homes, so the exterior front doors are eight foot high. You have about a 15 or 16 foot entryway in the foyer right here. And this one has the nice double doors. So let's go inside and take a look at this floor plan. Again, it has a beautiful entrance right here. Really high ceilings in the foyer and the entryway. Now let's talk a little bit about flooring. I know most of you that are looking in this community, you're gonna upgrade and pick out your flooring to what you like. Uh, the standard flooring is a 17 inch by 17 inch square ceramic tile flooring. Again, you can expect to spend anywhere from 15 to 30% in upgrades, design, structural options, depending on how you design your home. View of the kitchen, but let's start with the front bedroom and then we'll get back to the kitchen and the other areas. So you got one of the bedrooms here. So this is almost like an ensuite. Has its own full bathroom. This is definitely an upgraded shower. Again, a door that closes off this whole room. All the interior doors are going to be eight foot high. So just keep that in mind. This is a higher end builder. This is again, this is Coulter Homes. Carpet in the bedrooms is going to be standard. You can always upgrade. All the windows, anything glass will be hurricane impact. They need to clean these windows. <laughs> the ceiling height in all the bedrooms, except for the owner's bedroom, ceiling height's gonna be 10 foot high. Got a walk-in closet over here. It's actually a good size walk-in closet. Check out the other bathroom right here. So you have another full bathroom right here. Again, 10 foot ceilings, a nice transom window right there. Another bedroom. Another thing to point out too, like LED lighting, all that's gonna be an upgrade. The way you see a lot of these models, especially here in Astor Creek, you could easily spend 40% in upgrades in design. 
So just keep that again, keep that in mind. Again, 40% upgrades in design. This house has, this model has quartz countertops. Again, this would be an upgrade. Standard countertops are gonna be granite. They offer a couple choices of granite. And so one thing I wanna point out, this is my second video I'm filming here in Astor Creek. This is definitely an upgraded kitchen with a double oven here, microwave there, and you got a 36 inch cooktop range with a nicer hood vent. So standard, comes with a 30 inch range. This, this community is all electric. It's not a gas community. So just remember that as well. The standard included features here in Astor Creek, it comes with a 30 inch range, cooktop range. It'll have a wall oven and a microwave right here. So this is an upgrade if you got two wall ovens. Um, 42 inch upper cabinets is standard. I'm not sure which level, but the kitchen here, they give you a level three cabinets in the kitchen area. Nice size island. Again, if you're new to my channel, my name is David Rogers. I'm a licensed real estate broker in the area. If you're looking to move here, you're looking to purchase a home, I encourage you to call me, text me, shoot me an email. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave comments, Give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button if you're enjoying today's video. Just trying to provide you with as much value and information for each builder and community as possible so that you're not sticker shocked or it's more information for you before you get here. Let's put it that way. And again, if you watch enough of my videos, you know I ramble on. That's just who I am. If you don't like it, stop this video and watch somebody else and listen to some music playing. Nice dining room area over here. So the ceiling height out here is 11 foot four. This is all an upgrade for sure. This is not included in the standard base price. This is definitely an upgrade. Sliding glass doors in the back, these are all eight foot. Again, hurricane impact. So you have the eight foot sliding glass doors, two foot transom windows. Some of the structural options you can do when you're building a home here, you can install 10 foot high sliding glass doors. It's not much of a price difference. I think it's like 4,500 to 5,500, I believe, per section, and you got two here. So some of the structural options are really not that expensive, just to be honest with you. Another view out here. Now let's go over to the owner's bedroom, and we'll check out the pantry here in a few minutes. Another thing to point out, these are, they call these solid interior doors. I'm gonna say they're more semi-solid, to be honest with you, but they're still a better upgrade than some of the other stuff out there. This is the owner's bedroom. Another thing, just a reminder, all the bedrooms, carpet comes standard in the bedroom. So some people like carpet, especially people who come from up north. Keep that in mind, this will be an upgraded flooring. Really high ceilings, the tray ceilings, the LED lighting, lots of natural light that comes in with all these windows. This is all standard here with this builder. Another view here. I really like the color of these cabinets and countertops right here. Nice, huge spa shower, walk-in shower. Get your header toilet over there. Another view. Check out the other closet. And this passes through. So this floor plane passes through to the laundry room. Another closet. And I'm gonna point out one of the negatives on this floor plan that I don't like personally, but that's just my opinion. The laundry room is kind of small. That's the only downfall, I think, to this floor plan. The laundry room is kind of small, so if you're looking for a big laundry room, this may not be the floor plan for you. Got a sink over here. And so it kind of give you an idea where we're at. So the kitchen's right there. If you make a right, that'll take you to the front door. 
So you got another full bedroom over here. And you do have a bathroom. I believe it's a full bathroom on this model. Yep, so another full bathroom here. Again, this is a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom. 10 foot ceiling, so all the ceiling height here is 10 foot. And nice pantry. Again, this would be an upgrade, everybody, if you're watching this. This is not included in the base price. Leave comments what you think about the colors of those cabinets. I actually like them. I don't know if this would consider like a little desk area. Um, this is right off the garage, by the way. Now let's head outside and go over some other details about the lot sizes. We'll do a recap on the prices of lots right now so you have an idea. And roughly go over the cost of a pool. So the lot sizes here, we'll talk about the depth. I'm not gonna talk about the width because the width is gonna change based on the floor plan. All the standard depth is 150 feet. So this will be deeper than the standard lots in PJ Verano, which is also a culture home community. This is a bigger home, more of a ranch style. So the width is a little bit longer. Now lot prices, on the smaller homes, like the Jordan floor plan, which is the smallest home here, there are lot premiums right now that are $0 for the smaller homes. If you want to be like a, a, a waterfront lot with a golf course view, they have lots all the way up to 425,000, but there's only one available right now. And I'm assuming that's for the largest floor plan they have here. Beautiful pool. And pool prices, you could do a basic pool right now for 80,000, which will be a bare bones basic pool. Something like this with all these travertine pavers. This is probably 140,000, 150,000, but you could easily spend 200, 250, easily $300,000 on a crazy outdoor pool. Again, tile roofs, big covered lanai on this one. This thing is huge. If you wanted to add a summer kitchen, you could always plumb it, have them build it. There's a lot of options here with this builder. Now let's head inside and go over the rest of all the fees that you can expect to spend here. And just do a recap on a few more things in case I missed something in today's video. Again, my name is David Rogers. I'm a licensed real estate broker. Um, if you're looking to move here to Port St. Lucie, you're looking to purchase a home between now and next year, I encourage you to call me, text me, shoot me an email anytime. Love the opportunity to help you find the perfect home here. If you're looking for honesty about the communities and the area, I'm the guy. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything, the best way to put it. So this is the Tory floor plan. Base price of this home, $812,990. This home offers three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms with a flex room a three car garage, 2,876 square feet under air. If you added a bonus room, I think you're probably closer to like 60 to $100,000 if you wanna do an upstairs bonus room. That'll bring it up to the 3,412 square feet. Lot premiums, we just talked about a few minutes ago. I would realistically say 50,000 up to a couple hundred thousand dollars for the lot premiums for this size home here in the community. Upgrades, I would tell you to figure 20% to 30% to do a home nicely. If you wanna go over the top on upgrades, let's say that you wanted to do the 10 foot uh, sliding glass doors, you wanted to extend the owner's bedroom a little bit deeper, you wanted to make the garage bigger. There's so many structural upgrades that you can do here in this community. You can spend easily up to 40% on the base price. So if you're buying a home for 800,000, you could easily do another 300 plus thousand dollars just in upgrades and design, not including your lot. So just keep that in mind so you're not sticker shocked when you actually visit the community and you find out the prices. Monthly HOA fees, 225 to 240 for the fees that cover the lawn maintenance, the irrigation, um, well, lawn cutting, irrigation, light fertilization, and light pruning. Now there's a one-time capital contribution fee from the builder of $1,000. And then there's a CDD fee here. It's called a community development district fee. 
It's actually pretty low for this type of community. It's added to your property taxes anywhere from $1,350 or $1,350 up to $1,800 a year added to your property taxes. Now, another subject that people complain about Port St. Lucie, property taxes millage rate wise is high in Port St. Lucie, Florida. But the prices of these homes are much lower than nearby areas like Palm Beach Gardens, Jupiter. This home in Jupiter, Palm Beach Gardens would easily be a $2 million home after all said and done for the same lifestyle, if not more. Property taxes, we tell people to figure two to 2.1. So if it's a million dollar home, figure 20,000 to 21,000 just to be safe, plus the CDD fees, could be a couple dollars higher. Property taxes are higher here, but again, the prices of the homes are much lower. Homeowner's insurance is much lower here because this is a low risk area. This is also not located within a flood zone. As of my knowledge for this area, this is not a flood zone. The house that I'm purchasing just literally seven minutes away, I'm not in a flood zone either, so I don't see this being in a flood zone. Enough rambling on again. Um, let's talk about the clubhouse and the membership. So if you buy a home from the builder, they're going to give you a membership, which is going to be your club initi initiation fee. It's zero. So that gives you access to the golf course, the, the social, everything. They're going to have a restaurant, a bar. That The clubhouse is about 25,000 square feet, if I remember exactly. Bear with me one more time. I know some of you have been asking me to do videos on this community and the floor plans. Thank you for reaching out to me. I'm trying to get these done in the next couple weeks. It's gonna have a championship 18 hole golf course, 25,000 square foot clubhouse with bar and restaurant, plan opening in 2025. I believe they said around October next year. Don't hold me to it, but that's kind of a rough number. It could be earlier, it could be later. They're gonna have a smart training center, a resort style pool, pickleball courts, tennis courts, basketball courts, bocce. Um, they're gonna have a full-time lifestyle and activities coordinator and a wide array of social wellness programs they do what's nice they do have the design center right here in the community just like pga verano so once you go under contract you can start picking out all the different designs has nothing to do with the amenities but just so you know it's here in the community kitchen wise again 42 inch upper cabinets come standard it comes with a 30 inch range standard it comes with basically they call it the lux i call it a gourmet kitchen it's called the lux it comes with a wall oven and a microwave but you can upgrade to how this floor plan had the double wall oven, the separate microwave. This has the, yeah, this has the cafe edition appliances as well. So they do have different options when it comes to appliances as well. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, they do the spray foam insulation up in the attic as well. That's one other thing they do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that comes standard with this builder. But again, if you're looking to build in here, figure nine to 11 months, maybe nine to 12 months. They're saying nine to 11 months, start to finish. Two and a half months is just getting the permits through the city of Port St. Lucie. Lot premiums, again, figure for this house, 40, 50,000, up to 400,000, 425,000, depending on the view. Base price of this home is 812,990. And then you can, you can easily spend 20, 30, up to 40% in design and upgrades. I would say for this community, most people are gonna spend top dollars making the house really, really custom and really nice. I hope I didn't miss anything. It is a gated community. They will have a guard there, I believe 24 seven, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna do a community video coming out pretty soon, hopefully next week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is David Rogers. I'm a licensed real estate broker. If you're looking to move to Port St. Lucie, Florida, you're looking to purchase a home, or you know somebody else that's looking to purchase, or you know somebody that needs to sell a home, I would greatly encourage you to call me, text me, shoot me an email. All my contact information was throughout the video and down in the description below as well. I look forward to seeing you on the next walkthrough tour and next video coming out real soon.